Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, day two of the Ace Effect vlog. So, in essence, vlog episode number two. Got a little snow last night, and it looks like mostly turned to like a coating of ice on top of the snow. So it was like maybe like an inch of snow that turned into maybe it was two inches of snow that turned into a half inch or an inch of snow covered ice. It's just a uh, it's not fun. It's a cloudy day. I work about an hour away from my house, and I'm only, I really only have to go there on Mondays, so it's not that bad. I usually generally work out of my home office, or I'm on the road working. But today I'm uh, I'm heading up there, and uh, it's usually hit or miss on whether or not we have a meeting at the scheduled time. So I usually I either drive an hour for no reason or we have a meeting so I never know anyways I'm gonna go stop and get coffee and I will uh, I'll see you in a few getting the coffee much needed Here you go. thank you have a great day. thanks you too all right so that's the first time in history that I gave a tip for somebody handing my coffee and I did it I did it inadvertently I think the girl tricked me I gave her my money and she said thanks have a great day and I said thanks you too and I pulled away and that was the end of that I don't tip for people doing their jobs is that wrong of me I mean if if I was in a restaurant yes that's an expected tip but for somebody to Pour me a cup of coffee and hand it to me out the window. Now they expect me to tip them? I don't think so. I don't think that's right. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. But I, I really, uh, I don't think that I should be tipping somebody who's making either minimum wage, above minimum wage for doing their job. Um, I know that a lot of waitresses and servers do not make, um, a pretty good wage they, they rely on their tips and that's why that's why we do that it's part of the deal man but to tip a person handing out your coffee I think that's ridiculous day is done I had this epiphany as I was filming today in the Osmo pocket right now I'm using my uh, my Nikon D5300 to finish up because it's kind of it's dark in my office and I don't have the best lighting so um, I realized that in order to get the best out of the Osmo pocket um, a lot of my footage that I recorded today I needed to tap on the screen to lock my focal point and I wasn't doing that so and I when I played it back just now I was like out of focus my background was in focus and I was closer to the camera and I was completely out of focus so you need to remember just remember to tap your screen on the Osmo pocket and you'll be uh, you'll be in focus um, I also had it on AFS instead of AFC and I think that stopped the, the focus hunting but without the without touching the screen I wasn't in focus so AFS touch a screen you're in focus um, so I had this I had this really um, long-winded thing I was gonna talk about common sense today and I don't know just have common sense don't be a bunch of jackasses running around out there with your brains coming out of your butts just use common sense people like common sense you know if you're gonna if you're gonna go out in the snow put your shoes on that's all I gotta say <laughs> okay just do it all right guys hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video hit the subscribe give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.